Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're gonna test to see if bus routes actually make a difference in city skylines. We're back in the city of Amber. This is a submitted city that I did a traffic and city fix for. I took the city from 6% without any despawning, no despawning, to 76%. And the reason why I wanted to use this city is it's a perfect candidate for this experiment. It's a large city, over 100,000 on the population, and it's got the most uh, extensive bus mass transit system I've ever seen, 2182 people per week. Tremendous. And look at all these bus routes. So I'm going to destroy all of them, and I want to see what happens with the traffic flow. Let's get to it. All right, all the bus routes have been deleted. Line count is zero. Let's hit play. No despawning is still in effect. And let's see what it just like shot up. Ah! We'll let it run. We'll let it run. It's too fast. I mean, I was trying to get it to 80% the entire time during the city fix, and I never could get it there. And suddenly I delete the bus routes, and it skyrockets. All right, let's just let it go. Okay. Now I'm not going to make any other changes. You know, just so we can do a, a nice, clean experiment to see if that really made the difference. So, let me let it run, and I'll be back. Alright, I've run the city for a while. Here's what the resident uh, ridership looks like. Now, the uh, overview is, st there's still zero no uh, bus lines and if you're wondering wait what how is it possible that there's still people riding it that's because uh, when you destroy the lines the buses uh, still drop off the citizens and then go to uh, I believe their bus depot to despawn so even after you destroy the line it takes some time for the system, your your bus mass transit system to actually shut down. So I've been running it for a while uh, so that this can get close to zero. We'll let it get close to zero, but I haven't looked at the traffic. So make your guesses now. Do you think it went up? Do you think it went down? Do you think the, the traffic flow improved? Do you think it decreased? And if so, what do you think happened? Again, there's no despawning. Here's one way before we click on that. The subway ridership was, I can't remember, but it was 2000 something. I don't know exactly what, but the subway ridership has increased. So some of the people that were using bus routes have shifted over to subways, but obviously this hasn't gone to 4,000, which would have been everybody going from the buses to the subways. So I think the traffic flow has increased. Uh, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it. Uh, I think the traffic flow has increased, and I think it's at 80%. Uh, and basically, when it was like, uh, I don't know, 600 per week or something, I took a look at it, but it's been declining fairly slowly. Uh, so I haven't looked at it since then. So I'm guessing it's improved, and I'm guessing it's 80%. So here we go. No despawning. Let's see what it is. 77. So it has improved. It was 75, 76%, um, or it was in the mid 70s, and of course when I started the video, it was at 76. And so it has improved, but slightly, not by much. Now it's at 76. So you can make the argument that the bus routes did nothing. They made no material impact. So let's let it keep on going and let's let this number go to zero. I don't expect it to have a big difference, but there's no difference in when I just look at the city. Where was there red before? It's still red, but not bad. 
There's some little pockets of red just like before, but there's no difference. This is new. This route is brand new that did not exist before. That was not busy before. So I could do some modifications right there. 78. 53 a week. I'm letting it get to zero. So let me let it run. I'll be back. All right. The, uh, all the ridership is down to zero now. So again, no bus line count. Now the ridership is zero. Any guesses? I'm thinking that it is at 79. I haven't looked at it. No despawning. So I'm guessing 79. Here we go. 78. So there is no impact on having buses, uh, which is what I've talked about in previous videos is do not build bus routes. And so this is a, a great experiment to show that huge city with an extensive bus route system by removing the bus routes, we gain two percentage points. So it's not worth your time. doesn't really provide any value. Um, there is a beginner's guide, a subway metro guide, and a traffic manager setting guide that I have available. You can watch that. And then I've done a boatload of submitted city fixes. You can check those out. Hopefully it helps with finance tips, layout, tri layout tips, traffic tips, uh, other city tips. Hopefully it helps all you city skylines mayors out there. So uh, this kind of verifies what my hypothesis was, which is uh, the bus form of mass transit has uh, doesn't help. Uh, so the other thing that is happening a little bit is the city's population has declined somewhat. Of course, I don't think that has a material impact. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a couple of subdivisions, leave the mass transit the way that it is, and I want to see if the population goes back to 110, if it has any material impact on that. So uh, I'll uh, come back uh, after I do that. I've let the city run. The population has grown back to about 110,000 and the city can just keep on growing. I've made no changes to any of the roads, nothing to the mass transit, nothing to the roads. I haven't uh, done any traffic fixing. Uh, all I did was just build some new subdivisions to increase the population. So there's a new subdivision right here on the southeast side of the city. And there's a new subdivision right here on the northeast side. Here you go. Some apartments with high density residential, some low density commercial, some high density commercial and some office space. Put that right there. Put some of that right here. And then I put in a little bit of offices and commercial right here. I did look around the city to see if there was any other spots where it was partially filled out. You know, like over here, there's some commercial. It was partially filled out. I just kind of filled it in. There was a few little residential small spaces, filled those in just to try to, again, keep with the density, still keeping the city um, with the same layout, made none of those changes. Uh, put in the zoning where it already existed. And so no despawning, the bus route, nothing is there. And here's the traffic, 79%. So removing the bus routes really helps improve traffic. Let's hit play. Let me see if this can bounce up to 80 and then I want to pause it there. And we can see what happens. And so the population is continuing to grow slowly. And then we can just put in you know, some more, um, some more neighborhoods over here because there's a lot of empty space. So let me uh, let that run a little bit, see if it can get to 80. And then of course, we can actually do some traffic fixing if we want. This road should be from two lanes to four. This should be two to four. That could probably get us closer to 80. Uh, oh, there we go. Never mind. Boom. I was looking to see that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, a couple of other things that can be done. You can see right here. It's a good amount of traffic. Obviously, this section, the traffic was backed up to the all the way over here. It was backed up to all the way over here. Now it's running pretty nicely. There's still a little bit of traffic happening. If we click right here, boom. We can see that cars are coming from here. They're moving down over here. They're moving over into this area. 
they're heading out of the city so the city has an extensive subway system however and i'm not going to redo the subway system though that would be an interesting experiment this is what the subway system looks like can you see this right here with the red and green lines it's very curvy goes all over just very curvy just wraps or over so it it's extensive coverage but it doesn't seem very efficient it seems like a long distance to go from one station to another and so my hypothesis would be if you make direct connections to the stations maybe not as many but just more direct connections that that might actually improve it uh, 3700 so it has absorbed the subway system not all but a majority of the people that were riding the buses and so we're at 80 percent so please like this video if you liked it if you didn't like it you can hit the dislike button and if you want to support me more smash that subscribe button hopefully this was educational hopefully it was entertaining hopefully it helps you out with your cities again there's a playlist with a bunch of submitted city uh, submitted city traffic fixes there's a metro subway guide so if you want to know how to build an efficient subway system you can check that out and a uh, traffic manager setting guide all right thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves bye bye